Hey YouTube, here we are with uh, round two of this cube draft playing against Kilimich, who is the, uh, I want to say he's black green, he's either black green or Esper control, one of the two. Um, kept this hand because he has a Stillmoon Cavalier and a Sword of Body in mind. <laughs> um, enough said, yeah, so he's the green black player. Excellent. Uh, let's take a look at what he has. Green Sun Zenith, Forest, Eternal, Mold Shambler is going to be frustrating, and a prime time. I think I'm going to take away his Green Sun Zenith, since that seems like the most utility. kind of sucks he has his Mold Shambler, too. If I take that away, then he knows something's up, um, but he could always Green Suns for something else. I'm not sure if he has it or not. Otherwise, he has four mana and could hit prime time pretty soon, but Sword could probably beat him. I think I'm going to exile this Mold Shambler. It seems like the biggest the biggest pain. Since the goal is next turn, play a Sword of Body in mind, and then just start beating with, with a pro green guy. So he could Green Suns for two... Which I think is his play. Yep. What's he gonna fetch? Uh, Wall of Blossoms is my guess. Oh, I'm good. Yep, I think we cast a Sword of Body in Mind. And now he sees why I took the Mold Shambler. No attacks. Next turn, equip Beat. And that's probably just going to get us there. He has to have a removal spell right now. Okay, sweet. Let's equip. Bam! We get a 2 2, mill him 10 cards. Gatekeeper of Malakir, Decree of Pain, Pernicious Deed. Yep, all sorts of good stuff. Does he have something? Persecute. Choosing what color? Black. Discarding our Frexian Rager and our Stillman Cavalier. Yep. He chose correctly. Um, we I think we equip onto the wolf. Now, since he's playing so much green, I think we just attack with the uh, mesmeric fiend again. Get our wolf, mill him ten, play an oracle of Moldiah. No, I don't want to overcommit. Um, it's very important that if he has a Wrath effect, um, I don't play into it. I, I, th I think that would arguably more be more important than anything else. Do 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 Sort of body and mind wrecking green decks since ever. I'm gonna look at his graveyard while I get the chance. Uh Spirit Mantra Oh he's got Birthing Pod, Chameleon Colossus, Lowstill Golem. He's got the Headhunter, so that's important. That's his morph, it looks like. Sylvan Library's good. Green's... Uh, made him discard his Green Sun Zenith. He's got Decree of Pain, which I love. Okay, so I think we might have this. Um, I mean, he's thinking, which is rather unfortunate. It means he might have an out. Or he's looking through to figure out whether or not he does. 
either way. Um, am I lagging? Question mark? No, it looks like not. Okay. Okay, so he may have drawn something that gets him out of it. Eternal Witness. Okay. Getting what? Pernicious Deed. Okay. You got Pernicious Deed back. You can play it. And use it for zero. Or I just kill you with by milling. Okay. So I think he's just dead. Enemy dead. Enchant creature card in a in a graveyard. So he's gonna get the still moon cavalier. Right? Oh his Frexian Crusader. Okay. So he's not just dead, which is rather unfortunate. Um, I think we get to cast an Oracle of Moldiah. Let's see. First strike pro red and white. So he has a blocker. Okay, so we could attack with Mesmeric Fiend. I don't think I'll play my Grim Monolith, since he could just Pernish his Deed it away. Um, still think I attack with the Fiend? Let's see, if I attack and he double blocks. No, he can't double block, okay. So we just kill his uh, Frexian Crusader. Yep. And he could pernicious deed for as much as four, so I'm not going to give him anything else. So I won't cast anything. Make him pernicious deed everything away, and then I can cast an oracle or Garrick. Hopefully Garrick. Still, he would have. He has six turns to kill me. Yes, you have pernicious deed. Mold Chandler does kill Garrick, though, which is important. X is two. Okay. So I will let him cast his Mold Chandler, killing my sword. And a big goif. Wow. That's a good one. Um, okay, let's cast Oracle first. Bane of the Living. Okay. Um, so let's play our Swamp. And I think I'll play our Grim Monolith or Equip. Like, if I equip, he then gets to beat face. So I think I'll just play my Grim Monolith. So next turn, he might not see the Sword of Fire and Ice play coming. Um, yeah, now, now I regret not casting the Oracle.
I think I'll have my Grim Monolith as a Wrath effect. He can attack with his Goyf if he wants. We play Mold Shambler. Hopefully we get a forest so then we can cast Garrick and start chump blocking. Okay, so he's gonna slam Mold Shambler. Destroying Sword. Attacks with both. We take seven. Okay. So I think we cast Garrick, put a blocker, and stall him out. I think that's the way I want to go about this. Um, cast Garrick. We could also play a Sword of Fire and Ice and attack. Make him trade. Hmm, so we could either play Equip Sword um, and attack. The thing is, if we play Sword Attack, right, he can beat us for 7, 8, 9, 10. Um, look back at what he had in his hand. Do, 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 do. Eternal Witness, he's got a Primeval Titan, which is rather unfortunate. Um, do I cast a face down Bane of the Living? And then we could make everything get minus 5, minus 5, or minus 6, minus 6, which could be good. Um, yep, I think I'll just play it safe for now. No attacks. Attacks with Goyf, we just get to chump with a beast. Eternal Witness 2 and Mold Shambler, all attacking me. Okay, so he understands that he's, uh... Um... Hmm. We triple block Goyf, we take five, and then he plays Prime Time, which is bad. I think Beast is gonna block Mold Shambler, and Oracle is just gonna chump for Goyf. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. I think that's the play. Otherwise, we put Bane of the Living in front of Eternal Witness. Then he casts Primeval Titan. He's going to cast Primeval Titan either way. Yeah, I think that's how I'm going to I'll take two. It's really unfortunate. A big Tarmogoyf might actually just get there.
So I think what we're going to do is use Garrick to draw some cards. If we draw a land, uh, it'd be very, very good. Hopefully he just slams Primeval Titan. So that way we play Garrick, draw a land, give everything minus six, minus six with uh, Bane of the Living. Yep. Okay. So, it's May, right? So he's not going to? Oh. He's actually getting it. Okay. So you could see the rest of his deck, basically. So we draw Liquidus as champion. Um, black, black. Come on. Two, three, four, five, six. Board is cleared. And we're good. Or not so much. Hmm. Let's see, what could the play be? The play could be cast an Una's Prowler and a Laquatus's Champion. Take eight. Counter swing for nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, I think that's our play. So we are going to put a one-one. One, two, one. Play that. Play. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have exactly enough. Actually, no, we have plenty. Uh, we'll play this. Play this. Actually, do we want to play it? Swing for six. Yeah, he doesn't know we have the sword. So I think I'm just going to play the Laquatus as champion. No, I'm not. I'm going to untap my Grim Monolith. And pass. Hopefully he doesn't have Lightning Bolt or anything. He's got one card in hand. He attacks us for eight. <laughs> okay, so we play a sword. Equip a sword. Right, so that's five, six, seven, eight. Right? I should have played the Quadus Champion. Crap. Okay. I screwed this up, didn't I? Nah, he had a removal spell anyway. Discard a card to give it minus one, minus zero. He takes one, two, three, four, five. 
goes down that much. We can't use Garrick. Man, I threw this game away so hard, it's not even funny. Um, yep. Sweet, good job, me. Very well played. I threw that game. Yep, so many mistakes on my end. Yeah, I messed this up. This is what I get for being tired and not playing well. Um, we'll bring in Vines of Astwood. Uh, what else? Diabolic Servitude? He's playing somewhat... Fire Spout's not good against him. Yeah, I think I'll just play with this. Sure. Yeah. Eh. Eh. I still <laughs> threw it. Yeah. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate indeed. Yeah, that was that was pretty bad on my eyes. I'd screwed that game up so badly.